pressure testing for strength. This work is to be carried out on a complete refrigeration system, i.e. a condensing unit connected to an evaporator. Connections for carrying out the procedures are on the condensing unit, suction and liquid valves. B MaxiPro fittings are used in the suction and liquid lines. The following tools and equipment are required. Regulator for nitrogen cylinder with a 50 bar maximum output pressure. Gauge manifold set with outer sight glass fitted with hoses. Leak detection spray. The following consumables are required. Cylinder of oxygen free nitrogen, clearly labelled. The engineer should be wearing work clothing, long sleeves, safety boots and safety goggles. The work area should be open and well ventilated. This short video demonstrates testing for strength. The system is a simple condensing unit evaporator system which will run on R407F. The video will show the testing of the suction pipework. The high side pipework is tested separately at a higher pressure following the same procedure. The strength test checks that the installed components and joints will withstand the system maximum pressure. It should be followed by a leak tightness test. There is another short video which demonstrates this. The requirement for pressure testing for strength and leak tightness is the same for systems using B Maxipro joints as for any other permanent jointing method. For most systems, the strength test pressure is 1.1 times the maximum allowable pressure, denoted as PS. The low side PS for this system is 14.8 bar. The bubble point pressure at 32 degrees centigrade. So, the strength test pressure is 1.1 times 14.8, which is 16.3 bar. Oxygen-free dry nitrogen is used for strength pressure testing. The pressure in the cylinder can be as high as 300 bar. A nitrogen regulator is used to reduce the pressure to a safer level. The regulator should have an output pressure which is not significantly higher than the high side test pressure, which in this case is 26.2 bar. We are using a regulator with a maximum output pressure of 50 bar. Nitrogen is an inert gas, so will not react with anything in the system. It is non-toxic, but it is an asphyxiant, so you must work in a well-ventilated area when pressure testing, in case of a sudden release of nitrogen. Connect the outlet of the nitrogen regulator to the system using a suitable manifold set. In this case, we are connecting to the suction line at the condensing unit, which has a Schrader valve. The condensing unit in our system has been strength tested by the manufacturer and does not need to be retested, so it has been isolated from the installed pipework. We have simply closed the suction and liquid valves on the condensing unit. You should ensure that none of the pipework you need to pressure test is isolated, for example, by closed solenoid valves. Before starting the pressure test, non-essential personnel should be evacuated from the area. Be aware that failure could be catastrophic. To pressurise the system, check the nitrogen regulator is closed, that is fully wound out anti-clockwise. Open the valve on the manifold so you'll be able to see the pressure going into the system on the manifold gauge. It is easier to read than on the regulator gauge. Open the nitrogen cylinder slowly. Gradually open the nitrogen regulator and pressurise the system to one bar, holding for a short period of time. Ensure the pressure is holding. If the pressure has dropped, check the installation for any unpressed B MaxiPro fittings. Gradually increase the pressure to 16.3 bar, pausing every so often to ensure pressure is holding. Close the manifold valve, the nitrogen regulator and the nitrogen cylinder valve. Hold the pressure for 15 minutes. If it does not drop during that time, the system strength test has been successfully completed. 
The pressure equipment directives require that the systems are pressure tested for strength and a 15 minute test is usually acceptable. The system should now be tightness tested so the nitrogen should be left in the system for this. If the pressure reduces during the test or the test pressure cannot be achieved you should pinpoint the leaking joint with leak detection spray. You must carefully vent the nitrogen before repairing these joints. Remember Nitrogen is an asphyxiant, so ensure the area is well ventilated to disperse the nitrogen. Hold the vent line securely so it cannot whip while the nitrogen is vented.